You can't talk about culture without talking about the arts. And a Knoxville man known by the name of Stick McGee played a huge part in the world of music. You probably haven't even heard his name. But as Don Hudson reports, scholars believe McGee helped create the new sound that would eventually be called rock and roll. He had a hit in 1949, before Chuck Berry, before Elvis. In fact, it was on the charts for almost six months, and it was the number two song for four weeks. And some believe that Granville Stick McGee, who was born in Knoxville and grew up here in East Tennessee, should get more credit for changing music. If you want to get along, new artist town, buy some wine and pass it all around. The year was 1949, and Atlantic Records released Granville Stick McGee's song, Drinking Wine. It sounds to me like a rock and roll song. Historian and writer Jack Neely says the East Tennessee man had reworked a slower, profane version of a song he originally wrote in 1947. A little bit quicker tempo, a little bit more percussion uh, to it. And Neely says the new song became the first hit for Atlanta. Do you think that drinking wine is the first or one of the first rock and roll songs? It moved the, 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 uh, the chess pieces a little bit more toward rock and roll. Rock and roll or jump blues. Neely says either way, this particular song was recognized and recorded by other rock and roll artists. It did become a big hit, and uh, it became so, so big a hit that a lot of other artists, uh, 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 Wynoni Harris and other people, began performing it. Uh, 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 later, Jerry Lee Lewis uh, you know, had, a, had a hit with All them cats drinking that wine. East Tennessee guitarist, singer, songwriter may not have been well known, but Neely says he was certainly part of that first wave that would change American music. He's before most of the people we think of as the founders of rock and roll. Uh, Fast Domino and, and, uh, and Chuck Berry, all these people were later. Much of Stick McGee's life is less well known. He had just one more hit, the instrumental Tennessee Waltz Blues. And if you're a big jazz listener, you may have also heard of his brother, Brownie McGee, who became a famous blues singer and guitarist.